And here's the starting lineup for Canada. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. Fowler. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And a goal! through 1-0 here well here it is again and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack they were so quick to break out from their defensive positions and then what a strike that's hit with such ferocity certainly no stopping that that's a great goal It's a good-looking ball in behind, and she's kept it out. Oh, good vision. It could be on for her. Oh, good work by the keeper. So the corner played into the box, and still dangerous. Well, she took it on, but over the crossbar. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Is it going to be? And there we have it. She's only gone and made it a brace. Nobody can stop her. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And the finish is really good. She just smashes that past the keeper. That's a top quality goal. Kaya Simon. Could pull one back here. And it's in! They've eaten into their advantage, and this is not over. Not yet, anyway. Well, here it is again. What a good build-up this is. Quick, incisive passing, clever movement, and all done at pace, which led to a simple finish. That's a real joy to watch. And this game is officially over. It really has gone swimmingly for them, I can say that, because they have clinched top spot in the group, Stuart. Well, all you can ask for at the start of the campaign is to top your group and get into the last 16. And that's exactly what they've done. And they've done it in style as well. They should be looking forward to that last 16 game.